Hey guys, what is up? You see that right there? No, not the terrible gray sky. It's a Walmart. Arguably one of the biggest and most hated companies in America. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make some money off of them. How are we going to do that? Well, don't worry. I'm going to show you every single step. The basic idea though was we're buying things in there on clearance and selling them for more money on Amazon. Again, sounds confusing, right? Don't worry. I will show you every single step how you can go in here and walk out $100 richer. It's really easy and it's really fun too. Also, big shout out to everyone who subscribed. Thank you so much. We're at almost 40,000 subscribers and the fact that I can help 40,000 people make money, that's really cool and uh, makes me very proud of what we're doing. It's great to make money. Do not let anyone tell you otherwise. Let's get in there. Amazon FBA. That's what we're going to be using. But what is that? The basic idea is that Amazon stores your inventory and they ship it out. In exchange for that, you pay them a nominal fee. You also get Amazon Prime status, which means when you buy something on Amazon Prime, it's coming from someone like me who buys things, sends them to Amazon, and Amazon ships them out. It's great because Amazon gives you a discounted UPS rate, so you're paying about 25 cents a pound to get it to them, and then when they ship it to the customer, you're paying hardly anything. So little that they can actually tell you or predict it in the FBA fee. So when I show you what I'm selling, and you see the little green number in the bottom right corner of the split screen, that's the profit after fees. After all the fees except for your, uh, 40 buck a month Amazon account, or if you are not a professional seller, it is 99 cents per listing. Okay, on to what I'm looking for. These are the bigger items right here. These things are gonna sell for more money, uh, but you're not gonna get twice what you made for, or you're not gonna get 10 times ROI like you would at the thrift store. The whole idea behind retail arbitrage is that things sell faster, they're all new, so you're gonna have an easier time getting the buy box, and even though you're only making like 30% uh, ROI, which is your return on investment, because you're getting it so quickly, it's more worth it. So like these things right here, the sales price is up above 50 bucks. Uh, and we're paying less than that, but they're so heavy that even though it's profitable, uh, I'm, you know, if I was full-time retail arbitrage, and if I wasn't making this video, I would have bought those, but because uh, the fact that I'm showing you what I'm buying, the price will just tank, uh, you know, within a few weeks. So it's not worth it to buy these, but I want to show you guys the process. The process is so, so very important. You do this, you get your phone and you scan barcodes. Look at all these items. You could scan all of these and, uh, and make a lot of money. These right here, so these Aveeno, uh, I don't know, lotion products, or this Hyper Hydro Boost City Shield. I don't know what it is even. I just know that we're paying a little money for it and we're selling it for more. This is called retail arbitrage and it's the basis for how a, how a market economy runs. If there weren't people doing this, there'd be so fewer products on Amazon and so fewer people who need products the next day but can't get them. Uh, essentially, we are sourcing for inventory at a retail store. The same way people source for inventory at thrift stores, or maybe they contact wholesalers, or maybe they even make it themselves. We are kind of skipping over all that process and buying inventory that is otherwise unwanted in our own area, but is extremely wanted elsewhere. And I have to tell you, not everything's a winner. Probably 99% of things here are not making you money. But it's so easy to scan them. You just pull your phone out, scan the barcode, and it's so easy to ship them in. After the video, I'll show you how simple it is. That uh, you'd be a fool not to do this, or at least not to consider it. And maybe retail arbitrage isn't for you. But again, understanding the dynamics of, uh, of how Amazon and how Amazon FBA works and how you can make money off of it, it's, it's priceless information. So again, guys, uh, I really, really hope that this is helpful. These LOL bath bombs, those, uh, those laxatives, all this stuff you can sell. 
All right, guys, we are back in the warehouse. This is not retail arbitrage right there. That's a used item. You see I've elbow wrapped it. Uh, but there are some new things here. So I'm going to show you, using this as an example, how we list and prep it. I'm just going to explain it quickly. On the back, you see a label there. I put that there. It's covering up the barcode. This is how Amazon knows it's my product when they pick it out of their inventory uh, storage unit. They use shelving or bin or who knows what it is. So how do I know what sticker to put on there? Well, I go over to my computer right here. I type in Radica Pocket Poker in this right here or the UPC number. Uh, I don't know that because again, my barcode covered it up, but we go there, uh, I already searched it, it's right here. Okay, this uh, high sales rank, but it's new, whatever. We're gonna say, yeah, sure, I wanna sell this. Uh, let's go to, uh, to the, the actual listing page now. We say, yes, it's new. Yes, I want to uh, sell it for 68 bucks. And then uh, you go through the steps. It prints off a label. You put the label on there. You, uh, you say, okay, here's my address. It tells you where the nearest fulfillment center is. And you UPS it to them. If you want to see a more in-depth FBA prep video, I have one. I will put it in, uh, in the comments and the description. And that's the video, guys. Thank you so much. Like it, comment, subscribe. And, uh, and tell your friends, because if your friends need to make some money, I don't know uh, a better place to learn besides the internet. But that's just me. See you later.